This is Jeff with Metal Illuminati, and I'm here with Marduk. Uh, Morgan. Correct. What's up, buddy? Yeah, a lot is up. Yeah, we're here touring, so <laughs> everything is good. Is it the end or the beginning? It's the end of the U.S. part, but it's just the beginning of the whole world tour. Actually, we started out in Siberia uh, on the 11th of May. We started out with three shows in Siberia and like another six, seven more in Russia. And then we went home for like a few days and changed some, a few bits in the set list. Then we went over to Puerto Rico. Then we've been over here for three weeks doing the States and Canada. And now we're finishing off with four dates in California and then two more shows in Mexico, then back to Europe. How important is it in the modern day of metal to tour now rather than, you know, with all the pirating and stuff, the importance of tour? Not only because of that, I believe it's important to tour, but I believe we have a message in the music and I believe in delivering it right in your face. And I mean, I, when I, for example, appreciate the band, I like the full energy of getting everything right in your face, you know, the live experience. And that's what we're trying to bring to the most parts of this world, you know, that's therefore we one of the first bands to tour bigger parts of South America and Asia and I mean I believe in the power of our creativity and therefore it's a great privilege and an obligation to be able to perform it in front of loyal supporters wherever they are located. I think that is why in such a subgenre as like black metal and everything that's given you such longevity? I don't know, I never sit down and reflect over it. I know what we're doing and I'm focusing on that and we keep on marching. Cool. Um, how do you guys utilize merch, marketing and stuff to stay current in the modern market? Uh, I mean, to stay current, I don't know. We, we do what we believe in and I think that's reflected in the artwork and all the visuals we have on merchandise. and. We do what we think is a reflection of our music and that's what's important, not that maybe it's a trend or it's modern or whatever, as long as we think it reflects the spirit of our music, then it's okay with us. So. You guys are on Central Media, that's that's recent, right? Yes, it's just nice. like not even a year, and we just had the first album coming out with our cooperation with Central Media, but we still have our own etiquette, Blood on Productions, but it just distribu distributed and marketed through Central Media, and so far so good, they are a label with a strong foundation, they've been around for a long time, they know how to deal with things, so it feels great to have a, a bigger label supporting you. And what are your thoughts on, you know, piracy, downloading, and that kind of thing? Stuff. I believe it's fans, and, you know. Yeah, I believe it's theft in its own way. But I mean, what can you do? I mean, that's the way it is. Things will always change, and you know, so you just have to adjust to it. And I mean, vinyl's I don't... making a comeback. Like yeah, no, I, I, yeah. Of course, we always yeah. do vinyls of all the albums we do. I don't feel I have done an album before I have the vinyl version. Right. And uh, regarding vinyl, yeah, it's picking up again. And I see um, such an organic sound. a generation of kids who never bought vinyls when they were around right. that are into getting the old ones or reissues or. So it's great to see the, because vinyls will always be something special and it will, and it will for sure survive the CD, you know, and it, I'll do that and so it's great. Well, I know that Century Media also does a digital download with yeah, the yeah. vinyl, so that's always yeah, cool yeah. because, you know, you buy the CD, whatever, it instantly yeah, goes to your iPod and it's in your yeah, ears that yeah, way. Yeah, so. that's cool to work that way. You have to find your way, you know, to get the to get the music out. So, I mean, regarding piracy, I don't really think too much about it. it. It's there and you can't stop it, so whatever. We keep on marching, doing what we do. But it gets somebody's ears, and then they come out, yeah, like, yeah, sure. buy your merch, and hang yeah. out, and yeah, come sure. see you, and all that. Absolutely. Uh, if you had suggestions for up-and-coming bands in metal, what would it be? I don't know. Iron Maiden. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, I, I try to keep track of everything that's coming out, but just nothing special really pops off my mind. And what I mostly discover is old bands that I missed out on, maybe, you know. But of course, there is, there is a handful of new... For example, you have Weapon, who was on this tour. They're a really good new band, you know, so... That's one of them, I would mm -hmm. say. And what do you think is uh, something that is misperceived about the music business in, in, in general? I don't know. It's okay. a fucked up world, the music <laughs> business. I try to not even think about it. So you many come out and play. Yeah, so many and do idiots play. involved. So, I mean, yeah. I focus all my energy on my creativity side, and we go where it takes us, and we'll survive so far in the business and whatever, you know. Cool. So what do you got coming up? Coming up, uh, as I told you already about the touring situation, right, right. we started. Yeah, coming out. When is and that? The album's already out. Oh, it's already yeah, out. Yeah, just out a week ago or something okay, over here, and, and we've just been out touring, starting up. We, as I told you, we did Russia, we're doing USA, Canada, Puerto Rico, going on this 
on our way home we stopped by in Mexico for two shows. Haven't been there in a few years and then we do selected summer festival appearances in Europe going down to Brazil and hopefully Argentina in August and then at the end of August we start out a headlining tour in Europe uh, together with our longtime friends of Emulation. Uh -huh. So we're going out and doing like a 44, 45 date European nice. tour. And then after that we plan even another European second part to cover Scandinavia and the Baltic states. In December we might be back over in the states doing areas we don't cover right now. Mm -hmm. and we're also working on Asia and some other parts of this world. So there's a lot of touring coming up. That's awesome, man. Yes, it is. Well, thank you so much, brother. Thank you. My, My pleasure. Illuminati, motherfuckers.